Do you know that there are certain things you should never beg for in a relationship? Are you aware of that? As a rule of thumb, it should be natural that your woman should be able to provide you with the things I am going to mention in this video or even more without being pressured. In fact, it should be done with delight. While it's unrealistic to expect your partner to present you everything you asked for, it's very crucial to have practical listing of deal breakers that could define the nature of your relationship. In this video, we'll be looking at some non-negotiable things you would deserve to receive in a committed relationship and most importantly, what to do when you don't get them from your partner. Sometimes it can be difficult to know what to expect in a relationship because you don't have much experience or you are just getting back into the dating world after a long break. So if you just started a new relationship or have been with your partner for a while, here are the nine things you should never have to beg for from your partner. And while I do that, if you think there is anything I didn't mention or you have other deal breakers aside these nine things I'm going to mention in this video, feel free to leave them in the comments so that other kings will get to see it. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Number one on my list is acceptance. It's something not to be joked with. Acceptance is key. It's everything. It's the first step in building a long-lasting relationship. When you love someone, you accept them completely. This means loving their personality, not wanting to change them into something they are not. A partner who continuously criticizes you, belittles you, or compares you to different people virtually would not value you. Total acceptance is required to create the sensation of freedom and safety in a romantic relationship. When you are accepted for whom you are, you feel free to be yourself around your partner and express your emotions without the fear of being judged. The person you are with must provide a safe space for you to grow and flourish as an individual. You deserve to feel happy and comfortable and at ease in your relationship. You shouldn't have to beg or force your partner to accept you. If they genuinely love you, they should be capable of welcoming your best qualities in addition to your flaws. I've heard guys ask this question. I've been trying, I've been trying to woo her for a couple of months. I've done everything I can, but yet she doesn't want to accept me. What do I do to make her love me? See, if you love yourself and if you want to have a viable relationship, you should not Put, as in, you shouldn't put, put in a lot of effort into trying to woo a girl to yourself. Put her gift. You've done so many things. You spoke grandma yet no avail. Do not pressure her to accept you because she might end up accepting you out of pity and the end result is not usually palatable. The number two on my list is love. Being loved is an innate desire all human beings have regardless of how robust or successful a person is. They still need love in their lives to feel whole. It's far regular to anticipate to feel loved when you get into a romantic relationship and you shouldn't beg your partner to show the care about you. The best thing you can do if you are not receiving the quality of love you deserve is to talk to your is to talk your desire and let your partner understand your love language however you don't need to remind them to do little romantic things for you to give you thoughtful gifts or celebrate you on special occasions when someone deeply loves you they put in effort to make you feel loved and wanted on a regular basis when you are truly loved you won't have to compete with another person or negotiate for breadcrumbs of their love and attention because you will be a top priority in their life the number three we have on our list is attention. Many people underrate the value of undivided attention in a relationship, but it's far one of the things that could make couples stick together. When your partner ignores you for a long time, you feel rejected, unimportant, and abandoned, which is the opposite of what you ought to be feeling in an intimate relationship. Having a partner who gives you a listening ear, a shoulder to lean on, or help during hard times is a blessing, and you shouldn't have to beg for attention or help because you are entitled to them when you are in a committed relationship with a person. This doesn't imply you must make unnecessary demands or be ungrateful for the kind gestures you receive. But in cases where your partner spends extra time on social media than they do connecting with you in real life, there's actually something wrong. It's also not okay for your for your, for the one you love to constantly choose watching TV programs or hanging out with friends over bonding with you. The number four on my list is respect. Respect is a non-negotiable ingredient for a successful relationship. It's difficult for couples to have a healthy love life when they don't respect each other. If you are in a serious relationship, it is important that your partner treats you fairly and respects your personal boundaries. When someone sees you as their equals, they talk to you politely, ask for your advice and value your opinions when you share your thoughts. On the other hand, 
when you, when you are with a partner who doesn't respect you, they will speak to you with a condescending tone, yell at you when you make mistakes and disregard your ideas, no matter how brilliant they are. You shouldn't have to beg your partner to talk to you politely or treat you like an adult. Love requires mutual respect to grow. And if you are not getting that in your relationship, it may be a sign to walk from your partner. The number five on my list is quality time another thing you shouldn't beg for in a relationship is some regular bonding time with your partner with today's hustle and bustle culture it's important for couples to you know find meaningful ways to connect with each other at the end of the day engaging in romantic activities together can help chase away boredom increase emotional closeness and keep the relationship exciting it's unfair for you to always have to beg for a date or cancel your own plans just to be with your partner when someone really loves you they will make out time to be with you no matter how busy they are and you won't have to force them to see you regularly if you are the only one who is interested in having date nights and spending time as a couple you will struggle to stay connected to your partner over a long period in cases like this try to work around your schedule and come up with a date calendar that is suitable for the both of you the number six on my list today is intimacy one of the most vital parts of a romantic relationship is intimacy intimacy in this context doesn't just refer to physical but also includes honesty authenticity and vulnerability in relationships for a relationship to grow and last longer couple needs to prioritize romance and cultivate a deep emotional connection with each other you shouldn't have to beg your partner for hugs kisses and cuddles because these are the little things that keep your love alive it's also necessary that your partner is open with you rather than being emotionally distant and secretive if they can't express their real feelings and tell you their deepest fears who would they reveal them to having to beg your partner for some form of intimacy is really painful and you don't have to tolerate a loveless relationship if you need more than what you are currently having that's if you want to take the relationship to the next level the number seven on my list is commitment this is very important for a relationship to work in the long run couples need to stay committed to each other no matter how hard things get this means putting in consistent effort showing support regularly and offering help from time to time you shouldn't have to force your partner to commit to building a successful love life with you neither should you beg them to show up and take care of their responsibilities your romantic partner is supposed to be someone you can rely on especially during high times they need to be there for you consistently and it is totally unfair for you to be left alone to deal with your problems when things get tough if you are always pleading with your partner to, to take your relationship seriously and put in more efforts that's not a good sign talk to your partner about their level of commit commitment and let them know you are not okay with their lackadaisical attitude you can also tell them to improve their behavior or figure out what's really going on with their love life the number eight on my list is freedom 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 some of you when you get into a relationship you want to entangle your boyfriend don't ask you feel you shouldn't have a life outside the relationship most people think being in, in a committed relationship means neglecting yourself and abandoning the things you like to do simply because you want to do what your partners want however a healthy relationship involves having the necessary space and freedom to explore individual interests and hobbies when you have a partner who allows you to pursue your passion it can accelerate your development and make your relationship even stronger you shouldn't have to beg for your right for the right to be an independent person in a romantic relationship healthy couples understand the value of freedom and give each other space to develop their own ideas hobbies and friendship if you have to sneak around to do the things you love that's a sign that you're in a toxic relationship which is detrimental to your well-being and personal growth use the door guys walk the number nine on my list is loyalty when a couple decides to be together, they must stay faithful to each other to avoid destroying the bond they share. Being loyal to someone you love means not telling lies, hiding secrets, or sleeping with other people behind their back. It's normal to have multiple partners in an open relationship, but cheating in a monogamous relationship shows lack of respect and loyalty. And you should never beg for infidelity from your partner. Your partner owns it to you. He owns you faithfulness and consistent affection. If you have to chase them for love or threaten them to remain loyal, that's not a good sign faithfulness is a personal choice people make when they are with someone they love and you shouldn't have to beg for it so in conclusion many people get into romantic relationships because they are looking for love and companionship however not everyone consistently have their needs met by their partner which can be disheartening typically 
when you end up with the wrong person, you may feel as if you have to beg for non-negotiable non things like love, attention, and intimacy. It's actually important that your partner can fulfill your needs so you don't suffer in silence or give in to temptation to have an affair with someone else. If you realize that you feel unhappy or not satisfied with your partner, consider talking to your partner about your needs and expectations. You may also seek advice or help from licensed therapists if you can't find common grounds as couples. If you find this video helpful, please consider sharing it by clicking on the share button, copy the link and paste on your various social media platforms. I will appreciate if you can click the like button, it will help boost the visibility of this video yeah. by helping me reach larger audience and grow my channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I remain your girl, Chica Brown.